Hi everybody, this is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ and I'm also a prayer warrior. But as I told the Lord today, I am Psalm 63. I am hungering and thirsting for Jesus in this parched and weary land where there is no water. The only place we're going to get rest is in Jesus. Praise God. So meditate on the word. He put in my heart today to read the book of Joel and I thought there's only three chapters. I may as well read it together with you. So I'm going to read it out of the new, uh, the English, the contemporary English version. Before I do that, as I like to say in a lot of my videos, if you come across these videos, it's not by accident. It is because Jesus Christ wants a relationship with you. And if your name is Joel, I'm telling you, your name is in the Bible. He is a prophet. He wants to use you in a mighty way, and he loves you. So... Anybody else, if you watch and been following my videos and you like them, hit the subscribe, hit the little um, bell button. It'll tell you every time I make a video. But since we're reading three chapters today, get anointed, put some oil on your head, ask for the Lord to give you the mind of Christ, a discerning mind, a mind that is renewed by the word of God. And drink water. Jesus is our living water. Mm. It refreshes, it revives, it purifies. It is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. So let's invite the Holy Spirit now. We invite you now, Holy Spirit, to use me as a vessel, speaking through me today to meditate on the book of Joel. Praise God. And Joel was a prophet who had watched swarm after swarm of locusts covering the land of Israel and wipe out the crops. He described these locusts as though they were an enemy army destroying everything in sight. And he said that the Lord had sent the locusts as punishment for the sins of Israel. Joel also used the locusts as a way of talking about a real army that was going to attack Israel, but the Lord promised that if the people would turn back to him, he would forgive them and bless them once again. The locust caused horrible destruction, but it was only a small taste of what will happen on the judgment day of the Lord. At that time, the Lord will put all nations on trial for what they have done to his people. And those who are guilty will be punished. Praise God. So, where is your heart today? What is become an idol in your life that you need to lay at the foot of the cross? So, we're going to read the book of Joel. I pray in the name of Jesus that ministers to your heart and you turn away from sin. Praise God while you've got breath in your lungs. <clears throat> I am Joel, the son of Perel, and this is the message the Lord gave to me. Locusts cover the land. Listen, you leaders and everyone else in the land. Has anything like this ever happened before? Tell our children. Let it be told to our grandchildren and their children too. Swarm after swarm of locusts has attacked our crops, eating everything in sight. Sober up, you drunkards. Cry long and loud. Your wine supply is gone. A powerful nation with countless troops has invaded our land. They have the teeth and jaws of powerful lions. Our grapevines and fig trees are stripped bare. Only naked branches remain. Grieve like a young woman mourning for the man she was to marry. Offering of grain and wine are no longer brought to the Lord's temple. His servants, the priests, are deep in sorrow. Barren fields mourn grain, grapes, olives, and scorched shriveled. Mourn for our farms and our vineyards. There's no wheat or barley growing in our fields. Grapevines have dried up and so has every tree. Figs and pomegranates, date palms and apples, all happiness has faded away. 
Return to God. Mourn, you priest, who serve at the altar of my God. Spend your days and nights wearing sackcloth. Offerings of grain and wine are no longer brought to the, to the Lord's temple. Tell the leaders and the people to come together at the temple. Order them to go without eating and pray sincerely. We are in for trouble. Soon the Lord, all-powerful, will bring disaster. Our food is already gone. There's no more celebrating at the Lord of our God. Dr seeds dry up in the ground. No harvest is possible. Our barns are in bad shape with no grain to store in, th in them. Our cattle wander aimlessly, moaning for lack of pasture, and sheep are suffering. I cry out to you, Lord. Grasslands and forests are eaten by the scorching heat. Wild animals have no water because of you. Rivers and streams are dry and pastures are parched. Locusts and enemy army. Sound the trumpet on Zion, the Lord's sacred hill. Warn everyone in an to warn everyone to tremble. The judgment day of the Lord is coming soon. It will be dark and gloomy with storm clouds overhead. Troops and cover will cover the mountains like thunder clouds. No army this powerful has ever been gathered before or will ever be again. Fury flames surround them. No one escapes. Before they invaded, the land was like Enon. Now only a desert remains. They look like horses and charge like cavalry. They roar over mountains like noisy chariots or a mighty army ready for battle. They are a forest fire that feasts on straw. The very slight of them is frightening. They climb over walls like warriors. They march in columns and never turn aside. They charge straight ahead without punishing each other. Even arrows and spears cannot make them retreat. They swarm over city walls and enter our homes. They crawl in through windows just like thieves. They make the earth tremble and the heavens shake. The sun and the moon turn dark and stars stop shining. The Lord God leads his army of countless troops and they obey his command. The day of his judgment is so terrible that no one can stand it. The Lord's invitation. The Lord said, it isn't too late. You can still return to me with all your heart. Start crying and mourning. Go without food. Don't rip your, don't rip your clothes to show your sorrow. Instead, turn to me with a broken heart. I'm merciful, kind, and caring. I don't easily lose my temper, and I don't like to punish. I am the Lord your God. Perhaps I will change my mind and treat you with mercy. Then you will be blessed with enough grain and wine for offering sacrifices to me. Sound the trumpet of Zion. Call the people together and show your sorrow by going without food. Make sure that everyone is fit to worship me. Bring adults, children, babies, and even bring newlyweds from their festivities. Tell my servants, the priests, to cry inside the temple and to offer this prayer near the altar. Save your people, Lord God. Don't let foreign nations make jokes about us. Don't let them laugh and ask, where is your God? The Lord will bless the land. The Lord was deeply concerned about his land and had pity on his people. In answer to their prayers, he said, I will give you enough grain, wine, and olive oil to satisfy your needs. No longer will I let you be insulted by the nations. An army attacked from the north, but I will chase it into a scorching desert. There is not lot rot. There it will there it will rot and stink from the Dead Sea to the Mediterranean. The Lord works wonders and does great things. So tell the soil to celebrate with and wild animals to stop being afraid. Grasslands will gr are green again. Fruit trees and fig trees are loaded with fruit. Grapevines are covered with grapes. People of Zion celebrate in honor of the Lord your God. He is generous and he has sent the autumn and spring rain in proper seasons. Grain will cover your threshing places. Jars will overflow with wine and olive oil.
the Lord will rescue his people. I, the Lord your God, will make up for the losses caused by those swarms and swarms of locusts I sent to attack you. My people will eat until you are satisfied. Then you will praise me for the wonderful things I have done. Never again will you be put to shame. Israel, you will know that I stand at your side. I am the Lord your God. There are no other gods. Never again will you be put to shame. The Lord will work wonders. The Lord said later, I will give my spirit to everyone. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Old men will have dreams and young men will see visions. In those days, I will even give my spirit to my servants, both men and women. I will work wonders in the sky above and on the earth below. There will be blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will turn dark and the moon will be as red as blood. Before that great and terrible day will, will I, when I appear, then the Lord will save everyone who faithfully worships him. He has promised there will be survivors on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, and along them will be his chosen ones. The Lord will judge the nations. At that time, I, the Lord, will make Judah and Jerusalem prosperous again. Then the ju in Judgment Valley, I will bring together the nations that scattered my people, Israel, everywhere in the world, and I will bring charges against those nations. They divided up my land and gambled to see who would get my people. They sold boys and girls to pay for prostitutes and wine. You people of Tyre and Sidon and you Philistines, why are you doing this? Are you trying to eat, get even with me? I'll strike back before you know what's happened. You've taken my prized possessions, including my silver and gold, and carried them off to your temples. You have dragged the people of Judah and Jerusalem from their land and sold them to the Greeks. But I'll make the people of Judah determined to come home. And what happened to them? will happen to you. I'll hand over your sons and daughters to the people of Judah. They will sell them to the Sabines who live